Jan G. F. Veld Hueys. Johannes Gerhardus Franciscus Jan Veld Hueys, born 4 October 1938 in Hengelo, is a Dutch administrator slash governor in the fields of scientific education and research, health care and culture, nationally and internationally. His last post was president of Utrecht University from 1986 until 2003. He still holds various part-time governance positions. Education Velf Hueys got the gymnasium a diploma at the Gymnasium of the Archbishop's Seminary in April Dorn, 1951 minus 1957. After two additional years philosophy study at the Philosophicum Dainselberg in Hueys Ter Hague, he in 1959 started Modern History, Economics and Constitutional and Administrative Law in Utrecht. He was active in the administration and governance of students and university organizations Precis Collegiae Studiosorum Veritas, then the largest students' organization in the Netherlands, and vice chairman of the First Democratic Students' Council Grand Rod of the University. This brought him into direct contact with the in the eyes of many outdated university governance structure. He also was member secretary of Commission Roman 12 Youth Education of the internationally sensational Dutch Pastoral Council of the Roman Catholic Church. For modern history, he wrote a thesis about the Dutch plan of labor of the 1930s and for economics about the economics of education. He graduated in July 1967 and got a Fulbright scholarship for a comparative study of the Dutch plan of the labor and the American New Deal at the University of Minnesota. This in the for the USA politically dramatic year 1967-1968. Career, Rur. Veld Hueys began his career in Sept. 1968 at the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, European Cooperation. He was involved in the European trade policy, s towards Central and East European countries, and in Benelux and OECD cooperation. He was among the ten signatories of the Manifesto of 1970 that led to the uprising of the young officials de Opstand van de Jonge referendarissen and then to the integration of the Ministry Binnendienst and the Diplomatic Service Buidienst. When the 1970 Act reforming the university governance structure WB slash Law Veringa took effect, Veld Hueys turned back to his first functional love. He accepted at Leiden University a function created to implement this WB. Late 1972, he became head of the governance and law office and secretary of the newly formed executive board of the university. In 1974, he was appointed deputy permanent secretary general of the Ministry of Education and Science ONW to the permanent secretary general Martin Van Wolferen and the minister Joss Van Kemenade 1973-1977, who in 1973 had started his constructive education policy Contra Veld Hueys had secondary education as a special area of mid and school debate. Also, he chaired the team of the planning for the McKinsey reorganization of the Inspectorate of Education. In November 1978, he led the O&W team that supported Minister Ari Pai's 1977-1981 in the Hanjus Affair. In 1979, Veld Hueys was appointed Director General Services Education and Inspectorate DGDI, also Inspector General of Education IGO. In these positions, he was faced with difficult policy issues, as DG with Minister Pies, especially the mergers of teacher training colleges, and with Minister Wyn Dietman 1982-1989, the significant budget cuts of the Lubbers' Cabinet, including the lowering of teachers' salaries, and as IGO with the implementation of the new organization of the Inspector. Vel Hueys was one of the first who, after 25 years' emphasis on equal opportunities, asked attention again, despite political opposition, for also the quality of education. This got him in 1983 the participation in the U.S. International Visitor Leadership Program for research into the quality of education in the USA. His reporting led to a notorious publication in the leading Dutch newspaper NRC and to a separate chapter of his hand on the quality of education in the explanatory memorandum to the ONW 1985 budget. 
With the U.S. Ambassador Paul Bremer Roman III, he, as representative of Minister Dietman, innovated the Dutch Fulbright program. In 1985, he became chairman of the board of the Fulbright Commission, a subsidiary function he performed the following 16 years. In this period, he, together with Paul Bremer and Fulbright director Marcel, who then connected Fulbright fellowships with the fellowships of the Netherlands America Foundation, NAF, in New York. Starting 1986, Veld Hueys was appointed by Minister Dietman, President Chairman of the Board of Utrecht University, as the ninth president in 14 years. He there succeeded former Cabinet Minister Leendert Junjar. In his first years, he was confronted with much opposition inside the university. The provision with a university car, the same provision as his predecessor, got caused a lot of protests, questions in the Dutch Parliament, disapproval of the item concerned in the university budget formal appeal by his board to the Council of State and final approval after nearly two years. In the university council and in the university newspaper the attitude towards him often was of a negative, sometimes hostile nature. He was considered as a man from outside, a hate bureaucrat, and slash or a satrap of Minister Dietman. But he withstood, and, with the loyal backing of his colleagues, he gradually got the necessary support and confidence to restore in the university the much-needed governance balance and stability. Within two years, the budget was balanced again. And despite strong resistance with a strike, an occupation of the main administrative building and a short cause in court, in May 1988 the board under his leadership carried through a major reorganization of the university, Mr. Lake Vernewing slash Governance Renewal 1987 minus 1991 91. Among others, the size of the Central University office was reduced from about 800 officials to about 250 by not filling vacancies and more dismissals, decentralization, and semi privatizations. This operation was deliberately combined with a strategic process of renewal and profiling of the primary processes. Education and Research, RU 2001-Utrecht University towards 2001. These two operations were repeated in the mid-90s for another period of ten years. In the view of many Veld Hueys and Rector Van Jinkel, and later on Rector Gispen, were the major sources of inspiration and the main architects of the remarkable renaissance in the recent decades of this ancient university. They were supported by an administrative office of increasing quality under the direction of Wim Cardux, Martin Rook, or Wim Vermeulen, Jupe Kessels. These strategic operations had many results, among which some remarkable ones, also nationwide. Education modernization of the educational process by requiring from students basic involvement and for university teachers basic and senior qualifications WP flow BKO and SCO, this Utrecht education model, sharpened with the introduction of the European Bachelor Master model, led to 20% higher outputs than the scientific research, concentration and priorities areas initiative rector Hans van Jinkel, strategic alliances with business, research companies, start of the Science Park Utrecht, education and research about 15 new programs, AO, full-fledged economics, public administration, and physiotherapy science, the formation of the UMC Utrecht University Hospital with insertion of the famous Eye Hospital, the Ooglederskas Hueys, and the Wilhelmina Children's Hospital, WKZ together with Ger internationalization Utrecht network in Europe with Jerome Tarenbeek. Hank Van Rensum, Bettina Nellemans, special alliances with top universities in the U.S. and Asia, a variety of special provisions for personnel and students, A.O., the renovation of the academy building with Bass Nocturne, and the founding of the faculty club, a new alumni program, national and international with Lennox Visser, a prominent long-standing housing program with appealing architecture, Hans Van Jinkel, and Arian Sakema. These and also many informal activities and provisions gave a solid base and firm conditions for new self-confidence and pride among university personnel and students, so pivotal for a sense of community, necessary for daring and new initiatives.
This policy and activities resulted in a rather impressive increase of quality of education and research. On behalf of the Association of Dutch Universities, Visnu, Veltu is for many years chaired T Education Committee, Sint O in charge of among others the reduction of the number of academic courses by 50%, the preparation of the replacement in the secondary school curriculum of the 270 different package spaketin by four profiles profilin, and the renovation of Veltu is in 1995 was conferred a doctorate HC by the University of Florida, USA, and in 1997, 1998, and 2001 he was decorated by respectively the governments of France, the Netherlands, and Spain. In the spring of 1997, his board briefly got into political trouble by a salary increase after 10 years of no change of about 20%. The problem was quickly and smoothly discarded. A few years later, the salaries of the board members of all Dutch universities in a nationwide leveling up were increased by about 60%. The affair did not harm the position and authority of the board. In 1997, Rector Hans van Ginkel was appointed Rector of the United Nations University, headquarters Tokyo. In 1999, to Utrecht, professors got the Nobel Prize for Physics, Martinus Veltman and Gerard T. Hooft. In 2001, the King of Spain, Juan Carlos, was awarded an honorary doctorate of Utrecht University. In 2002, the Prince Klaus Chair was established, with Princess-slash-Queen Maxima as Chair of the Board of Curators Initiative of Rector Gispin and Prof. Bas de Guy Fortman, the term of board membership being four years, Veld Hueys was reappointed four times. In 2003, he retired after 18 years of presidency. Utrecht University then not only had become the largest university of the Netherlands, but according to Elsevier magazine also the best teaching university, and according to the international Shanghai and CHE rankings, and later on also the Thess ranking, the best research university as well. Velf Hueys after his retirement performed and still performs many other functions. These included and include member of the supervisory board, of the Netherlands Organization for Applied Scientific Research, TNO, Delft 2003-2008, Chairman of the Board of the Netherlands Society for International Affairs, NG's Department Utrecht 1995-2008, Chairman of the Board of Quality Assurance Netherlands Universities, CANU, Utrecht 2004, Chairman of the Supervisory Board of the Netherlands University's Foundation for International Education, Nuffolk, The Hague, The Hague. Chairman of the Board of the Foundation Carmel Colleges, Hengelo. Chairman of the Board of the Hospital, Diaconis and Hueys Utrecht Zeiss Dorn. Member of the Advisory Board of the Dutch Institute for War Documentation, Niad, Amsterdam. Member of the Supervisory Board of the Roosevelt Study Center, Middelburg. President de la Section Nederlandais de la Societe des Members de la Légion de Hanwer. SMLH, The Hague, Paris 2012. Evaluation Committees in the Field of University Education and Research. Member, Australian National University 2004-5, Gent University 2008-9, and Dutch Open University Heerlen 2011. Chair, Erasmus University, Rotterdam 2012. Tilburg University 2012 Wien University of Amsterdam 2012 slash 2013. In 2009, Veld Huey still belonged to the top 200 of the most influential Dutchmen. Jan Veld Huey is married since 1968 to Monica M. H. Theer 1942, a physiotherapist. They have three sons born in 1973, 1974, and 1977 and six grandchildren, born in 2004, 2005, 2007, 2010, 2012, and 2015. Awards and Prizes 1952 Excellency Prize Gymnasium April Dorn 1983 Fellow International Visitor Leadership Program USA Thay 1995 Dr. H. C. University of Florida at Gainesville USAA, 1997 Knight Chevalier in the Legion d'Honneur, Republic of France, 
1998 Officer of the Order of Orange Nassau, Kingdom of the Netherlands, 2001 Commander in Comienda the Numero of the Order of Isabel la Catalica, Kingdom of Spain, 2003 Gold Medal City of Utrecht, 2003 Medal of the Province of Utrecht, 2003 Silver Medal of Utrecht University, 2003 Medal University Medical Center Utrecht, UNC Utrecht, 2003 President's Medal University of Florida at Gainesville, Florida, USA, 2003 International Medal University of Coimbra, Portugal, 2003 600 Foundation Day Medal University of Krakow, Poland, 2005 Ambassador K. Terry Dornbusch Award from the Netherlands America Foundation, NAF, Washington, D.C., USA, USA, 2005 Distinguished Leadership Award for Internationals, University of Minnesota, Minneapolis, USA. Publications Thy's Lecture on the Occasion of the 74th Anniversary of the Collegium Studiosorum Veritas about Secularization, Vox Vertatis, 25 May 1963, Het Einde Zoken, Contribution to the Book Kirk, and Universite, 1965, H. Nellison, Bilfoven, Universite in Democratizering de Verpro for de WB Contribution to the Book Bidge, Het of Schade van de Leids Hosti, Rhone and Zoon, late in 1978, ISBN 90-238-928-9. Beheerst Advisoren, in Advisorganen, Minder and Bitter Den Haag, 5 March 1985. De School en de Hoofdzaken, de Middelmatigheid van het Amerikaans on de Ridges, NRC Handelsblad, 27 October 1983. Pages 17, etc. Ik ben Nyet Voor het Paradigge Jabaren, interview in Het Utrecht's Universite It's Lad, Oct 15, 1992, pages 11, 13. Unbindend Kratchten bin in de Universite It, Speech Symposium Alumni Blade Leiden, Nav, 16, 1993. Vermulen Irwin and Van Kamen Kathalani, I its Neos under de Zon. Invoering van Bachelor Master on de Universite at Utrecht, Deal 1, Het Underwaste Concept, Deal 2, Het Underwaste Process, in, Thema, 2002, NRS 3 and 4. The Last Word, an Epilogue and a Prologue in, Academy in Verindering Negen Reflectis op Universitaire Bestur, under Eindre Dacti van Prof, Dr. De van Prof, Dr. Tert, Off, Dr. Tert, Off. Adrian Darstagen and Dr. Juke Kessels, Universite at Utrecht, 2003, ISBN 978-90-393-3569-7. Many speeches, articles, and interviews during his presidency of Utrecht University, among which addresses at the opening academic years of Utrecht University 1986-2003 asterisk Vaif Bister's instrumenten. In Turek Lagop 18 Jar Universitaire Bister, in Thema, 2-2005 pp 49. Multidisciplinary Economics, The Birth of a New Economics Faculty in the Netherlands, Peter de Jaisel and Hans Schenkeds. An introductory chapter by Jan G. F. Veld Huys, Kluwer 2005, Leon van de Zand, Investoren in Underwijs Loot. Strategist Cues in Het Underwijs Belade, van de Universiteit Utrecht, in Thema 2008, NR4. Excellence and Egalitarianism, and in Higher Education, Contribution to the Book Discovering the Dutch. Dutch. On Culture and Society of the Netherlands, Emmeline Bissemuska and Jop Verhul Eds. Amsterdam University Press 2010, ISBN 978-90-8964-100-7, 688 anywhere, can you are, 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 can you are
An L. Dodd, IDEO in Beeld. Du Antwickeling van de Inspectie van het Onderwijs en de Rol van Inspectors General van F1955, ed. By Inspectie van het Onderwijs 2011-23, ISBN 978-90-8503-256-4. Du Hendrik Edelman, The Netherland America Foundation 1921-2011. A History, The Netherland America Foundation, Inc., 2012, ISBN 978-1-4675-2909-9. Armand Hagenen, No Praisen in Utrecht. A Trecht C. Natter Kondijgen van Wereld Nijvau, In It, Out Utrecht, Ash 5, October 2019, pp. 162-165. Equals equals references equals equals equals.